Hi, I am 3D Greenhorn. Since recently, I have started creating some short 4 to 5 minute Blender tutorials on this channel. If you are someone who is interested in how to make these kinds of art on your own, or even if you simply want to enjoy the art process, check out the videos in the playlist as well, from the link down in the description. In today's video, I'll share how I created a mini castle from scratch in under 5 minutes. So without further delay, let's get started. I first added a cylinder with 16 segments. Then I brought the top face down, selected two faces, and separated them. Then extruded one face, and then I added an empty. Then I added an array modifier to the faces, and selected the empty as an offset. Then I rotated the empty, and increased the array count. I then added a weld modifier, to merge the vertices together. The reason I did it this way was because, if I needed to make any adjustments later on, I just have to deal with one only. I then parented this with the empty. Then I duplicated the cylinder, and placed it on top of the old one. I extruded and scaled the top face of the cylinder. Then I selected the alternate faces, and extruded them up to create the merlons. Then for the door, I used a curve. In its edit mode, tweaked the vertices to make it look more like a door shape. Then I added a cube with an array modifier, and fit type to curve. Also added a curve modifier to it. Then for the door, added a cube. In its edit mode, tweaked some of its vertices. Then I added a mirror modifier to it. I then duplicated the frame with the curve, and placed it above. Then made some adjustments to the curve in its edit mode. Then I rotated it in z-axis, with the pivot point set to 3D cursor. I duplicated one more for the window. Then in edit mode, I created an extra face below the window, with loop cuts. Then extruded it. Then I added a cube, with alignment set to view, and a loop cut in middle. I then performed a boolean operation on it, to create the window. I then duplicated, and rotated it and then made another boolean operation for the door. Then I added a bezier circle with alignment to view, and then also a cube. I added an array modifier to the cube, and then a curve modifier as well. I then added a cylinder aligned to view, and used it to make a cut for the round window. I then duplicated it for the bottom as well. Then I added a curve for the railing, and also a cube. Added an array, and a curve modifier to the cube. Then I simply extruded and scaled the cube to get a baluster-like shape. And to fill the gap, I added a weld modifier. Then I added a camera, and changed the view type to orthographic. And changed the resolution to 1080p. Then I selected the cylinder, and extruded and scaled up its bottom face, to act as a base. Then I added a plane for the background, and scaled that up. Then I added a bevel modifier to all the parts of the castle. Then I decided to add some boulder rocks nearby. So I added a cube and subdivided it. Then to make it a bit irregular, I tweaked some of its vertices, with the proportional tool turned on. I then made some duplicates, with all plus D, since they will share the same material. I scaled and rotated them, to make them look different. Then for creating plants, I used a plane. Extruded, added subsurf modifier, and some loop cuts. Then from the top view, I rotated and scaled the duplicates. For the scene lighting, I use an area light. I change the render engine to Cycles. It cycles X, which makes faster viewport rendering possible, on my extremely low spec computer. I then move the light up, increase the power, and increase the size as well. Then I duplicated this light, to illuminate the back side of the scene. Then I added colors to the different objects. I then added an empty in the scene. Then turned on depth of field, in the camera properties and selected the empty as the focal object. Then for the bokeh blur effect, I added a 16 segment circle, with alignment to view. I made some copies, and then scaled down some of them. Then finally, in the color management, I changed the exposure to 1, and looked to high contrast. Let me know what you think of this castle, in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.